Well, welcome to one of my favorite problems of this whole class. What we have here is we have a cannonball P of mass L M, which is fired towards a steel barrier, which is attached to a stationary cart. As some time after rebounding from the barrier, the cannonball is observed to have a speed VP and is moving in the direction shown below, namely at an angle theta with respect to the horizon. We're asked to let M represent the combined mass of the cannon and the cart, and to assume that the cart is able to move without friction along the horizontal surface and that air effects can be neglected. And with this information in hand, what we're asked to do is to determine the velocity vector of the cart after the cannonball bounces off the steel barrier at the instant shown below. And if we're asked to also find that if delta t represents the elapsed time between the firing of the cannonball and the instant shown, to find the average value of the horizontal force acting on the combined cannon cart system over the period 0 is less than t is less than the time delta t. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and sketch a free by diagram for the system uh, at the configuration shown. And we'll note that all we really have here is the weight of the cannonball. We'll have the weight of the cart cannon system. We'll have some normal force coming from the ground. And that's it. The key thing that here that I want to take away is that all the forces are acting in the y direction. Because this is true, namely that we have no forces acting in the x direction, linear momentum for this system in the x will actually be conser conserved, provided we take the system as a whole. So with this in mind, what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to start by looking at conservation of momentum, more accurately linear momentum, in the x direction for the system, which consists of the cannonball, the cart, and the cannon itself. Now if I do this, the reason this is useful is I can say initially, before anything is fired, the system has exactly zero linear momentum. Post-impact, however, we know that the cannonball itself has linear momentum in the x direction given by little m times vp times the cosine of the angle theta. And because this is a scalar equation, by looking at the x direction, that'll be a precise definition for its momentum. But we also know then that this would equal to the mass of the cannon cart system plus whatever velocity it has in the x direction at this instant. Which means that the velocity of the cart in the x direction, given here in terms of speed, would simply be equal to minus m times vp times the cosine of the angle theta divided by the mass of the cart cannon system, capital M. Now if we want to write this in velocity vector form, all we simply have to do is append an i direction because we know that we oppose conservation of momentum in the x direction. Now the second thing we're asked here is to find actually the average horizontal force acting on the combined cannon cart system over the given instant. And if that's the case, all I'm going to do to figure that out is to find the conservation of linear momentum in the x direction. And let me clear this up here. Conservation of linear momentum in the x direction. For now, just the cannon cart system. And the reason I'm going to look at just one item now instead of the two is I know that the only way I can figure out that force, which for the system is equal and opposite, is to actually look at just one object or the other. And so if I look at just the cannon cart system, again, I'll have as initially zero momentum. I'll add to that the average horizontal force, which I'll call F average, times the elapsed time delta T, will equal the final mass of the system, which is cap M, times its velocity, which is VC. Now we just found VC to be quantity minus M VP times the cosine of the angle theta divided by capital M, which of course will simply give me minus M VP times the cosine of the angle theta, which means that the average force acting on the system over this interval of time will be given by minus little m VP times the cosine of the angle theta divided by the elapsed time delta t. And with that, you should be good to go. Best of luck as you plug in numbers and evaluate these forces and velocities.